Let's look at how we use PHP list, the mailing list newsletter and campaign manager. Here we go. PHP list differentiates between admins and super admins here. I'm a super admin, so if you're an ordinary admin, you may not have some of these options. But in a nutshell, this is what we need to know about. On the right hand side here, we've got three tabs that we're going to be using most. We've got send a message, which is as you've guessed it, to send a message to your subscribers. We have lists, which is a list of individual newsletters you can have. PHP list calls those lists. So you can have one for recipes and one for your car collection. And the third one is users, which are technically your newsletter subscribers. So a user subscribes to one or more than a list or newsletters. I'll show you how to create those later and how to update those, but uh, right now we're going to go through how to send a message. This is what you're going to be using the most. So you click on the send a message tab, up comes a new window which lets you create a message. This is on the content tab. So first line is the subject line. This is what people see as the subject. So I'll just type email subject. The from line is currently by default your username followed by the email address where this newsletter appears to come from. So it can exist, it cannot exist. You can use something like no reply at some domain.com, but I'd say it should exist because if people read your newsletter and they want to reply to you, obviously you want to read what they have to say. By default, it only puts your username, but you can put your actual name here like this. This is what I tend to do. So Javis Lewis, that's my name, support at wpguru.co.uk is my email address. And this blank field here is where the actual email content goes. Now, this doesn't include formatting so much as like a, like a template. We're going to come to that later. But you can put anything from text to images in here, anything you like. I'm going to go over here to Wikipedia and go to the lorem ipsum text. And I'm going to copy all this and pop that in here. Brings up a little window in case you've been uh, copying things from something like uh, Word. So it makes it a little bit easier to deal with formatting problems. So this, in an ideal world, is what I'd like my newsletter to look like. Or maybe, maybe I'll preface this with hello all. Okay, then at the bottom of the screen, we have two things that are always standard. One is if somebody wants to unsubscribe from this newsletter, they can do that from an automatic link that's being generated by the system here. And another to update their preferences if uh, whatever, your name has changed, your email address has changed. You can send a test message here to an email address that you specify. This might be a good idea before you send something full of spelling mistakes out to 450,000 people. We're going to skip this step. We're just going to say save changes. Message saved. This is what we're looking for. Next thing we need to tell PHP list is where do we want to send this email to that we've just generated. So go to lists. And here it comes up with a list of all the lists that you have. So all the newsletters. Uh, I'm going to send this to my test list number two, which only contains one subscriber, which is me. So we can check the actual outcome there. But you could have uh, an unlimited amount of newsletters here. So send campaign. And you'd imagine this is actually going to send you a message now, but no, unfortunately not. It, it comes up with another step, which is process the queue. And what the queue is, is basically a, a collection of all the messages that are due to be sent. So you can automate this if you say every Monday night at 10 o'clock I want to send out my newsletter. You can set up what's known as a cron job or a scheduled task on your server and then the, the queue is always going to be processed on Monday at 10 o'clock or whenever you set it. The advantage is that you can here schedule several newsletters in advance. So if you've gone on holiday but you still want your newsletter to go out once a week then this is how you do that. We're not going to do a cron job here. We're going to do everything manually. So we're going to click on this, process the queue, and it comes up with a little status report here, a little window that tells you what the program is actually doing. So anyway, PHP list has finished processing this. So now I'm going to go and check my email, see what happens here. And there we go. There it is, Javis Lewis 
email subject. That's exactly what I sent to myself. This is the email address of, of the only subscriber I have, which is me. And here it is, nice little template. Hello all, and my message. Signature at the bottom, and these two things that I've told you about with the unsubscribe link and update preferences link. So that is that in PHP list. In the next little workshop, we're going to look at how you can actually create these lists and how you can add users to your database. So stay tuned. Thank you.